Hi, I'm Ellie and I'm here talking to Justin Johnson, author of this manuscript of Withhold Unto Hope with Prayer. So, Mr Johnson, can you tell us a little about yourself? Yes, um, my academic integrity is arts and humanities, which is history and politics. Um, we're in this archaic town of Colsa, a city that never sleeps. We're outside this library, people in this library, um, I've been in there myself, who know, it's a thriving community, educating youth today, um, schoolers, college leavers, people in college, and university, undergraduates, graduated students, and elderly at night to work. They're quite fine reading, not so obstinate. But the people in here, um, I found when they speak, they speak with a, such a platonic nuance. And you know what, that really helps the community thrive. But um, yeah, like I say, I've really found reading and writing it's more like a mental chewing gum, like watching TV, radio, that kind of thing. So yeah, I really found uh, writing influential. So what can the listeners expect to find in this book? Um, this book itself, uh, I've been through a lot of Christianity denominations. Uh, like I went into, well, I was born in a theocratic, I was born, I went to a theocratic preschool then primary school, well school, and throughout my years, tried other Christian um, Christianity such as the Mormons um, obviously the church first then I'm now Jehovah Witness so this book itself has got all the different disciplines of prayer um, with, you know, it says it in the title withhold onto hope with prayer so it's got comparing and contrasting three different Christianities guiding people into prayer as well okay so how did you go about setting out the foundations of your manuscript, script, um, Justin? Yeah, I mean, I've, that's practice, basically practice makes perfect, and I've written many manuscripts over time. I think it's my 13th one, I'm literally my 14th book. But practice makes perfect, like I, I'd like to give guidance to others, start, just, just start writing. And the more you read, you'll pick up different, you know, little things. The foundations of books are very, very important, um, like forward, preface, introduction, setting out chapters, looking at your conclusion, and bibliography is very important in a book. So did you prepare the route of various avenues of getting an editor? Um, yeah, I mean, I've, like I said, I've gone on my own a lot of the time, like uh, we've tried to do anyway, most things are around building foundations, everything, but um, this book, I thought, yeah, I need a bit of a, a, bit of a hand to give my, to get mind blocked, mind blocked when you write, um, and also getting a se second eye or third eye if you like, to go over your work to make sure you haven't missed out any punctuation. Because when you're writing, I don't know, a thousand words a day, you're bound to make mistakes. So having that third eye editor, um, looking over your work does help to perfect your work. So what audience is, was the book aimed at? Um, it was aimed at not people already in Christianity, people looking for the spiritual guidance, giving encouragement, empowerment to others, giving people hope and you know also it's a way to bring a new diversity into thinking actually religion could actually help me, you know, giving that, that empowerment that we all need and encouragement to thrive every day. Okay, well I've got one last question. Um, how do you think the readers and people listening to this interview will benefit from this book, Justin? Um, I really hope like I say giving guidance maybe when people think about writing a book, you know, think about the bigger development of the foundation of writing a book. You've got the front matter, you've got the back matter, you've got all the ingredients inside that you really need to think about before. Just, I mean, it's good to start, you've got to start from somewhere. So starting on a blank page, blank canvas, um, as you know, as a psych, in the psychology, we start life as a blank canvas, literally is what it is. Um, so yeah, start on a blank canvas and build foundation there. So I hope you give good guidance to other authors of today. So you, just before we, we finish up, you mentioned your final book. Um, would you like to talk about that briefly or would you like to leave that for another time? Um, yeah, I'll give you a quick uh, glimpse inside. Um, it's a, called The Book of Daniel. Um, my middle name is Daniel and yeah, it's about my youth growing up and it's about all the historical build up around that time, the built physical movement in that time, in that era of the 1980, yeah, 1989, 
1990s. So you can imagine everything that was building up around that era was quite a lot to do with it. And obviously my childhood up and my upbringing. And um, I feel like in that setting where it was set out, in the uh, little village I was brought up in, it bring a community of different readers. Wonderful. It sounds something to really keep an eye out for. When are you hoping to get the book out? Um, possibly... Um, I'm going to go May, to the end of May to be on a safe side, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm just scratching the surface at the moment on chapter two, I believe. Wonderful, so we'll, we'll all keep an eye out for that. It's been lovely talking to you today, Justin, and wish you all the best. Thank you very much.